Hey everyone, in this video I'll be adding a power switch to my Fat Shark goggles. Uh, this is a mod that I wanted to do for a long time but just never got around to it. Um, I'm using the Fat Shark Dominator V3s. Um, I tried the HD version but didn't really like the image. Um, for some reason it just made me feel like I'm looking through the goggles cross-eyed. But anyways, I'm not sure why uh, Fat Shark doesn't make this a standard feature because fumbling around with this power plug uh, sometimes is a pain in the butt to try to power it on. Um, just putting a simple on and off switch makes it so much enjoyable to use. Um, so many times I've forgotten to unplug my batteries in my goggles and then when I go to fly my battery is completely dead. So I just put this simple um, button on and off switch I got from Amazon. Um, I have it wired to where um, the LED will only come on when it's powered on, like this. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a blue LED right now, and then um, the LED comes on. So that way, I have it wired up this way so I can easily see if my goggles are powered on or not. And um, I'm using the True D um, V3 diversity receiver. Um, it's really a simple plug and play diversity receiver. A, a diversity receiver is basically two receiver modules inside um, this module. Um, it constantly scans the both receivers and uses the one that has a, the best signal. So I love this uh, True D because it's just plug and play. All you do is pull out your old, old receiver and just plug this one in, screw in your antennas and you're ready to go. Um, I'm using these orange um, left-hand CP antennas because I found like 90% of people use right-hand CPs and I found using left hand, left hand gives me better or less interference when I'm at the races. Um, also, I'm using these Tattoo goggle batteries. Um, I love this thing. It's a 2S, 2S 2500 milliamp battery and it has a simple um, LED power indicator thing. Um, this battery is 2500 milliamp. Um, the battery that comes with the Fat Shark goggles is uh, 1800 and that can hardly last through a day of flying. Um, this 2500 milliamp can easily last through a full day of flying, um, like 20 packs, even powering a diversity um, uh, module. So this is the power switch that I'll be using for this mod. I'll put a link. I'll put a link to this uh, switch in my descriptions below. Um, this is just a simple push button um, switch with a blue LED. Um, they come in all different colors. I just picked blue because it matches my goggles. Um, there's a whole bunch of different types of uh, switches that will work for this mod. But in this video, I'll be showing you how to make this switch work because not all buttons have the same um, connections on the back. Alright so let's get started. Alright so I'll show you start to finish on how to do this mod. Right here I got a brand new set of Fat Shark Dominator V3s. Alright so first thing you're going to do is you're going to pop off the, the covering on the right hand side of the goggles. By the way, this model only work if you're use if you're not using the LaForge because the LaForge they use this bay for the um, other receiver. So just put this to the side for now, and then you're gonna unscrew these two screws, the one on the bottom here. And then this screw right here that holds the uh, the power module in. And then you're going to loosen this center one. You don't have to take it out, but just loosen it a little bit because it'll help you um, help this thing open up so you can get the module out. So I found an easy way to get this, or an easier way to get this out is kind of open it up just a little bit and then get a little flat head, put it right here. Kind of hold it open and then you're just going to kind of shimmy, just kind of move this little module around till it comes out. 
When you get it out, just unplug this uh, harness. All right. So first, um, you're gonna make a hole in the, the cover thing for your battery to slip through, like right here. So you're, you're gonna need a 5 8 inch um, drill bit. I'm using this flat looking thing right here. And then to measure out exactly where to drill, on the back of this cover, there's a little circle uh, injection mark. You can't really see it in this video because it's all white. Um, but if you just mark, if you put your drill bit right in dead center of this, um, this circle, this will tell you exactly where to drill the bit. Um, if you drill it in that little circle, it'll fit perfectly in the, in the slot right here. All right, so after you drill out the hole, this is what, this is what it should look like. It should fit your, your switch perfectly. Next, you're gonna get some, some wire cutters and then you're just gonna cut down this, these tabs on the back of the switch just a little bit. You can cut them down just enough to where you have enough tab to solder a little piece of wire. So it doesn't have to be exact. So after you cut it down, this is what it should look like. Just a little bit. Um, I'm leaving about, I don't know, two millimeters around that um, of the, the tabs left. Just enough to solder. And then you're gonna cut three pieces of wire. I'm gonna use three, uh, three colors just to make it easier to follow along. So the red wire is about 40 millimeters. The black is about 57. And then the green is about 58. And then you're just gonna splice and tin both ends. Um, except on this green wire, you're gonna splice it a little bit more than normal. Say about, I don't know, half inch or so. I'll show you why later. So on the green wire, tin it a little bit nor more than normal. All right, so I'm gonna put it, uh, put my switch in my vise here. Just hold it down, and then I'm just gonna pre-tin the wire, the tabs that I'm gonna need first. So first, I'm just gonna pre-tin the tabs that I'll be using. So I'll be using this bottom one right here, and then this left one, and then this top one, and then the center one. All right, so black is going to go on the left, left bottom. So I'm going to flip this around so it's easier for me to solder. And then the red, I'm just going to kind of bend this thing because I want all my wires pointing to this side of the, the switch because it'll make it easier when you put it into the goggles. You want to try to make this sit as flat as possible so it's easier to get into your goggles. And then for this green one, you want to connect the center, the center um, piece with this top piece. So first I'm just going to solder the center one because it's easier. Flip it around and then I'm gonna connect this top top part of the wire to the to the connector. Alright, so once you have your wires connected to the switch, this is what it should look like. And the reason why you want everything pointing out to the left or this side is because when you have it in the switch or in your goggles, it'll sit like this. So all the wires will come up, come through under on the bottom side of this. All right, so 
Um, next, you're going to get ready the power module to be soldered. Um, the only thing, only mod you have to do to this board is you have to cut this little, this little tab on the back of the switch because you're going to break the uh, the connection right here. So it'll go to the switch. Um, so you're going to kind of hold down on this, on this um, connector thingy, and then just take some wire cutters and you can cut this part off, or not cut it off, but just make a little can make a little break in the uh, the connection so once you have it done I'm just gonna lift this tab a little bit to make sure that they're not gonna be touching each other so just like that just make sure when you're cutting this part you don't um, do it too rough to where the where it lifts this connector off the board so if you do that it can pull the solder um, tabs off the uh, circuit board so once you have this little part cut you can start soldering the wires onto the board so before you do that just make sure you push the wires and the and the button through this plate first because if you don't do that you won't be able to get the switch in here when it's soldered onto the board. So do that and then just put your little lock ring on the back side of the switch. And if you use the uh, 5 8 inch and use that little circle on the back, your, um, your button should line up perfectly on this plate. So this is how you'll, wi you'll wire up the back. Um, let's see, let's do the bottom side first. So this green wire will go, the green wire on your switch will go on the bottom connector or bottom tab of this one. Your black wire will go on the top and then the red wire will go on the back of this connector right here. Not this one that's connected to the board but the one connected to the connector. So I'm just going to pre-tin the leads that I need. So I'm going to need the back of this power module or the switch right here and then I'm just gonna add just a little bit more solder on the bottom of this so it, it makes it easier for me to solder later all right so once you have that you can go ahead and wire it up just make sure you have them um, going in the correct direction so your your um, connector or your m module will sit like like this, and then you're gonna wire or run the wires under the board like this, like this way, and then the red will go on top. So we'll go ahead and do the green wire. Green wire goes on the bottom connector. black wire will go on top and then the red will go on the back of this I know it's a little messy it's hard to do and film this and show you but I'll show you what everything looks like after I wire it up So when you're done, this is what it should look like. The red wire on the back of the switch will go to the back of this connector. The black wire will go on the top part of this connector. And then the green. The green is the one that connects the center pin with this top pin. And it'll go on the bottom right here. And then once you have this wired up, you can just go ahead and put it back into your, your goggles. So to finish up, all you're just going to do is put this back into your goggles. Just do everything backwards. So first I'm going to plug in this little connector onto the board. And then you're going to kind of work this board into the, the, uh, the goggles. Once again, I'm going to get some little a little flat head and just push it in between right here. Just kind of hold it open. 
and then you just kind of move this board around until you get it in. And then if you use uh, the, the circle marker on the back of this, this uh, connector should fit perfectly in here. Once you got that, just push it in. Whoops, I forgot to put in the screw. Um, put the screw back into the module. And then you're going to tighten this center screw back on. And then put the screw in the bottom. Done. Alright, so when you're done, this is what it should look like. Button should sit flush, perfectly in the center. Everything nice and clean, fits perfectly. So we'll just power it up and uh, see what it looks like. So I'm just going to use my uh, Furious True D diversity module. Just click it in place, plug it in, make sure it's seated well, and then just plug in your battery. So when you plug in your battery, this uh, your module or your goggle shouldn't power up. It, it should only power up when you push the button. And you see you have a little blue LED light there, and then the mod and then the the, the module turns on. So if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below or you can go to the website. There will be a, a schematic of how to wire up everything on this goggle and um, there will be a list of all the parts specifically for this, this button that you need for this mod. So I hope you have found this video helpful and please don't forget to subscribe.